back to another admin certification sheet series videos uh, this is a continuation of uh, another video which i have already posted few days back i think okay if you go back to the first video of this playlist you can find that video okay so as usual please do subscribe and click the bell notification for all the videos you'll be getting not only for the admin videos like offer all like platform developer admin app builder cpq or any other video which i'll be making in the future so please do follow and also i'll be sharing the real questions which i'll be getting soon with one of my friend so please do subscribe and leave a comment so as soon as i get it i'll share it with you guys and you can also email me on the email which i have given in the description so that you know you get that okay so let's go to the first question of this video what is true about dynamic dashboard choose one answer a is source reports can be used to vary according to the user which is not true i mean it's not exactly relevant to that so the relevant answer in this one what i see is b the data shown is according to the viewing user security settings because dynamic dashboard is all about whichever user log in logs into that dashboard logged in into the application opens the dashboard that he can see whatever data he can see suppose if i am a you know sales rep in us and if i log in i can see only opportunities from the us and similarly if the canadian salesperson logs into uh, logs in and sees this dashboard he'll see all the opportunities related to canada so likewise and c is not it will refresh automatically as scheduled no that's not true and it should be used if you want if user wants to customize the dashboard no that's not true so the correct answer is b and to show you the reference let me go to the documentation part of dynamic dashboard and here you can see like these are the steps like how to view the dashboard so if you come to under view dashboard as you can see view dashboard as once you open the dynamic dashboard and see like you get three options me another person and dashboard viewer so it clearly says me the dashboard readers see the data in the dashboard according to your access to the data which is not, nothing but exactly what it what is this b okay and similarly if another person logs in the dashboard reader see the data in the dashboard according to the data access level of whomever you specify like if you are an administrator i think not all can do this but if i'm an administrator i can drop down click on view dashboard as and select any other person and see his data and similarly the dashboard viewer you know like somebody logs in he wants to see this dashboard he, he comes and sees data as themselves according to their own access to the data so that's why the correct answer is b data shown is according to the viewers user security settings so moving on um the next question is what is true sorry this is the same answer let me go to the next question what is true regarding the refresh of the dashboard okay two answer so a the dashboard can be select scheduled to refresh hourly daily weekly or monthly which is close enough but i don't think it's the right answer i'll show you why and dashboard is refreshed each time it is displayed no because there is a refresh button which has to be clicked on demand which as per the you know option d a user can refresh the dashboard on demand by clicking the refresh button so this is one of the right answer which is straightforward and c after scheduled dashboard refresh it can be emailed automatically to a group of users or to myself or whoever is the user i'll show you the reference there you can you know uh, justify why it is the right answer okay so i am here at scheduling dashboard documentation part and if you come down you can see like you know on the dashboard 
tab select the dashboard using the view dashboard field and you can click the refresh that means you have a refresh button which is on demand refresh button which you can click and get refresh and also once you click that you get option to choose schedule refresh so if you click on schedule refresh so you can filter servant applied uh, when you schedule or email a dashboard but each dashboard has a running user whose security settings determine which data to display the dashboard so now coming to the notification part in the next step click to me to send email to users address or to others so it means you can send it to yourself or to any other users after the refresh so that's what it says and that's why the correct answer is c and d and you can uh, i'll show you why a is not the right answer because it's almost close here it says hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly, but in fact, you can only schedule the refresh daily, weekly, and monthly, not hourly. So that's why that's it's not the right answer. Okay, so the correct answer is C and D. Moving on to the next one. Which of the following can a case queue be used for? Choose one answer. Um, a manage distribution of the service contract. No. Uh, manage distribution of needs. No. How can it be in the case queue? Which is so it's not true. Manage your support workload. Yes, this is true. And manage distribution of custom object records. No, case is not a custom object, so you cannot you can use case queues. For mostly case queue only I mean I don't think you can use it for custom object so the correct answer I would say is C to manage your support workload and to show you the reference you know here if you come to setup queues documentation it says prioritize distribute and assign records to teams who share workload so which is basically nothing but you know supporting the workload like you know you have a support team which has a queue and all the support agents are members of that queue that, that queue and the case comes to that queue and whoever is the agent whose workload is less they those can, those users can pick up and work on those cases so that is the idea behind the queue and here also it says prioritize assign records to teams that share workload so that means the correct answer is manage your support workload c is the right answer and next question which of the following are the report formats supported by salesforce oh come on this is the easiest question i would say you know uh, this is pretty straightforward you know I, I can say by looking at it tabular joined and matrix so there are only four report types which are available and these are the right answer and let's go and check the documentation as well here if you come to the report documentation you can see choose one of the following report formats using the format menu of the report builder tabular format is default so by default when you create it will be tabular format so like you can either choose to be summary matrix or join so these are the four report types available in the salesforce so b d and e is the right answer so next question which of the following are the features of chatter choose three answers so i think if you know chatter it's kind of a social media feature which you know mostly uh, like follow records to be able to see the changes to the record yes true you can follow a record in chatter to see any updates going on with that record and ability to share a file with other people yes you can upload the file and share it with uh, other people in chatter and mute post to stop receiving notification about them even if you are mentioned so this is not true this is a tricky answer which is false that this is where you get confused but i'll show you why it is not the right answer and d create and join groups yes of course if it is chatter then you can create groups and you know join ask people to join and share any updates like thanking a co-worker or anything like that so let's go ahead and see the right answer which is a b and d as i discussed c is not the right answer i'll show you why okay if you come to a mute post documentation here you can see like you can mute the post 
on which you don't want to share any updates but automatically like here you can see in all these environment if someone mentions you in a muted post the post is automatically unmuted so that makes this answer false because it says even if you are mentioned so it will not stop receiving notification even if you are mentioned which is not true as soon as you are mentioned in a post it becomes unmuted so the correct answer is a b d and c is not the right answer gone next question we have is blue sky marketing manager would like to generate a list of contacts for the mailing list what report format would be the most appropriate to use choose one answer uh, it's a tabular b matrix c summary and d mailing so for generate a list of the contacts for the mailing list i think the correct option is a tabular because it's a simple tabular list and uh, you know the matrix and all it's all grouped and summarized even the summary is like grouped with some numbers on you know and mailing there is no nothing like mailing in the report format so the correct option is a so a is the right answer so to show you in the reference let me take you to so here you can see the report format we have is tabular summary matrix and joined and tabular reports is the simplest and fastest way to look at the data like it doesn't modify anything it just shows like how the data looks like in spreadsheet and in summary it allows users to group the data group rows of the data totals and subtotals so which is not a suitable way to you know generate the list on the mailing list and similarly the matrix it groups and summarizes both rows and columns so again that is not suitable and even the joint anyway i think this is not an option so it provides a different view of the data which is not suitable the right one is tabular so the correct option is a which is tabular moving on a dashboard shows data from the source report in the form of the visual components which of the following are the example of these components we have to choose three so the first one is standard report type no gauges yes you can make gauges in dashboard and visual force pages yes it's more bit of a customized approach but you can create whichever type of the visual force page and you can use it in dashboard and the charts yes you can use charts in the dashboard and custom report no so the correct answer is b c and d let's go ahead and check the reference so here i am at dashboard component types so you can see dashboard components can be charts table gauges metrics or other component that you can create with visual force pages we have a chart like this and gauge you know like this which depicts different form of the visual um, format and visual force page so you can create visual force page that will suit into uh, that dashboard and use it in the dashboard so that's how you create it so the correct answer is b c and d okay next question which of the following is correct when wanting to set up a chatter group in which customers can participate choose one answer so the first one an unlisted chatter group cannot include customer this is false you can include customers in unlisted chatter group as well basically in unlisted and private and b any internal company user who is a member of the new chatter group can invite customer by entering customer email address via invite people so this would be later stage but i don't think this is the exact right answer but yeah moving on so c allow customers chatter group setting must be checked yes this is the first level of setting which is true like allow customer has to be checked in the chatter group that you are giving access to that customer and the chatter group access type must be set to private now uh, it it has to be like private or unlisted so the correct answer i would say is c allow customer chat group setting must be checked okay to check let's go ahead and check the reference so here you can see the chat group 
customer chatter customers in private group you can see the chatter customers can be added to chatter only if a manager or the owner of the group that allow customers invites them to the group or an administrator adds them in the setup by entering the users in the quick find box anyway this is not given in the options so the correct answer is this one and it also says what he can see and what he can't see uh, and to okay let's go ahead and check this one allow customers so this shows how you create you know create chatter groups you can create public private and unlisted chatter group to collaborate with teams and here you can see the level of access like public private and unlisted so you know here okay here it is to allow customers to join a private or unlisted group select allow customers in the chatter group settings this is talking about all chatter group settings so you can create a new group and in the <clears throat> settings you can select all this so this is about that and the answer is c and moving on a project manager is a leading a team project and would like to share the project information and files only with the project team members what sales feature can support this requirement so here a create a public chatter group and invite project team members so no, it's a public anybody can join and we create a public chat group and add the project team members then change the group access level to private uh, then you know uh, if someone else uninterested person joins that's also not relevant and create a private project first person add the project team members now here they are asking about the chatter and d create private chatter group and pro add project team members yes this is the right answer because it's a private group and then you can add add whoever is your team member so that becomes your you know uh, answers to this question so the correct answer is d let's go and check the reference so here you can see uh, all the chat all types of chatter groups so if, if it is public anyone can see add post comment files and anyone can join the public group so that's not the right option here it has to be a private group member and owner or the manager will be the project manager who will invite or add the group member to the private uh, group so the correct answer to this question is d okay with that it's time to end so please do follow and subscribe and if there is any questions or you know uh, comments you can drop it in the comment below i'll see you in the next video and also for the dumps keep following I will share with you as soon as I have it available with me. So thank you. See you. Bye-bye.